Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and watchOS 9.5 is here. It released to the public and watchOS 9.5 is out everywhere around the world at the same time. This particular update is available to all watchOS 9 supported devices and comes in at a fairly small 198 megabytes. At least that's the size it was for me on the Apple Watch Ultra. It can vary in size for you, but this released alongside a bunch of other updates. iOS 16.5, iPadOS 16.5, macOS 13. 14.4, as well as older updates as well as you can see here, iOS 15.7.6 and others. Now this particular update is not a giant update, but has some new features and changes in it. First, let's take a look at the build number. So to do that, we'll go on the watch, we'll go into our settings here. Under settings, we'll go to general, then about, and you can see the build number is 20T562. This is the exact same build number that you had if you were on the release candidate that Apple released to developers and public beta testers. So if you have that and you want to stay on public versions, just turn off your beta updates, as you can see here under software update. So if we go into the app, that was just a screenshot while I was installing it. But if you go under the app general, then software update, if you're a beta tester, they've now changed this to allow you to use this method, similar to iOS installs, where you have to go into software updates and change the beta update. So public beta developer beta or off, if you turn it to off, you'll no longer receive those updates. This is the only way you can get betas going forward as Apple has gotten rid of the public beta profiles or beta profiles overall. They've also updated in the Apple watch app under the faces. You can go into the face gallery and you'll see there's a new pride celebration watch. This watch face now has a light mode and a dark mode, and then also has a couple different styles such as motion, hour marks and numerals. And it actually looks pretty good and makes me hopeful for future watch faces that they'll have some motion to them as well. So you'll see the motion of the different colors rotating around the center. So that's something I hope we see in more future updates. Updates, we had some motion with the new pride wallpaper on iOS 16.5 as well. This was released alongside a new watch band or Apple watch pride edition, which celebrates the LGBTQ plus community. Now, along with this, there are some bug fixes as well. However, if we take a look at the screenshot I showed you earlier, it just says that there are bug fixes. They haven't said what they are specifically. However, we do know of one that they fixed and that has to do with if you have a Mac and you're using it to actually be unlocked with your Apple watch. So if you use your Apple watch to unlock your Mac, they've actually fixed some issues with this. Make sure you install Mac OS 13.4 and with this update installed, it should fix those issues. As far as additional updates, well, there are security updates as well, and there's quite a few of them. If we go to Apple's security website, you'll see here, I'll link this in the description, but if we scroll down, you can see all of today's updates go into watchOS 9.5 and you'll see many different updates, everything from accessibility. If we continue to scroll down, there's launch service updates, updates for metal sandbox shortcuts and on and on. And to read this, you can see here for the TV app, the impact or the problem was an app may be able to read sensitive location information to fix it. The issue was addressed with improved handling of caches. And then it shows who reported it under the CVE number. So lots of different updates here. And if you were wondering if you should install watchOS 9.5, absolutely. For these updates alone, the security updates make that worth it. And also the bug fix I mentioned, and there's those few new changes features. You'll need that going forward if you want to be on the betas. Additionally, as far as overall performance, it's nice and fast. I've had no issues going into different apps, loading things that I don't typically use. Let's go into maybe podcasts. I run that a lot, but not on the Apple watch. You'll see everything seems to be fluid and fast. If we go into noise, it will take a second to measure the decibels and then you can see it there. So it seems to be working really well and nice and fast. As far as battery life, let's go into settings here and take a look at that under battery. You'll see I'm at 62%. I took this off the charger this morning around 9 AM and now it's 4:41 PM at the time of this video. So it's doing okay. It's not as good as it was, but I've installed a lot of updates had I've been using this for a lot of communication today and battery health is at last I checked 100%. So it seems to be doing pretty well. I put this on the charger every night, use it regularly that way and have no issues with it. As far as the next updates, I would expect beta updates pretty soon. It can be within a day or next week, since this seems to be a little bit delayed from what we've previously had. 
but if we see it next week, usually on a Tuesday or Wednesday, but either way we can have watchOS 9.6 betas. And of course, watchOS 10 is expected to have a huge redesign shown at WWDC 2023 on June 5th. That's where we'll see iOS 17 watchOS 10 with a bunch of different changes, as well as all the different operating systems, maybe the Apple AR VR glasses and much more. So those are the things I'm looking forward to. And that's where we'll see the majority of features. And then those will release to the public typically by September, some point it may be mid September later in September, depending on the device, but usually iOS will come out before the next version of iPhone. So usually before the iPhone 15 launch. So lots of updates to look forward to, but with watchOS nine versions, I wouldn't expect any major changes going forward. Also, for those of you wondering what watch face this is, if I press here, you'll see it's the modular watch face. I get asked this in just about every video. If I go to edit, you'll see here in the middle is a complication that's actually called Lumi. It's a paid app that I paid for. And then we have just basic complications around the outside. We have our calendar, our messages, music, the compass, and then temperature. So nothing really fancy here. This is the one I typically use. And so that's everything with watchOS 9.5. Let me know if you've found anything else in it in the comments below. And of course, if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.